I've made several videos in the past about copying your DVDs and Blu-ray discs to digital so you can add them to your home media server and watch them via apps like Plex or Kodi. But what if you're wanting to add old movies you have on DVD and Blu-ray disc uh, to your digital movie library on online streaming services like Apple iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Video, or Movies Anywhere? There are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the first way being the most expensive way is to simply buy your old movies again, which usually ranges between $10 and $20 per movie, uh, depending on the movie. The other way, as you know from the title of this video, is to use the disc to digital feature in the Voodoo app on your smartphone or tablet. And while it isn't free, it is far less expensive than buying the movies at full price. If you're not familiar with Vudu, it's an online retailer slash streaming service similar to iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon that is owned and operated by Walmart. Just like iTunes and Google Play, you can create a Vudu account for free. I think to use Amazon Video, you need to pay for Prime, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, Vudu is another place you can buy and stream movies from. Uh, and the only one that I'm aware of that offers the ability to buy digital copies of movies that you already own on DVD and Blu-ray for a discounted price. Once you've downloaded the app to your smartphone or tablet and set up your free Vudu account, you want to launch the app, then tap on the three bars icon here at the upper left and scroll to disk to digital under my library. Tap on that and you'll be brought to this point. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, before we can do this, you need to set up your payment information. My payment information was outdated when I first tried this, and it kept telling me there was a technical issue and to come back later. Uh, one suggestion for Voodoo to improve your app, tell people the reason there's a problem is because their payment information is outdated. Don't just say there's a technical issue and to come back later. Uh, my payment information being outdated didn't even cross my mind. I ended up Googling this issue and read through several different forum posts before I found the answer to the problem. I did feel kind of stupid once I figured it out, but still, a your payment method needs to be updated notification would be much appreciated. Once your payment information is entered, you can then go to the disk to digital option and then tap scan barcode. Uh, you will need to grant the app access to your camera and your location for it to work. Uh, but once you've done that, it's as simple as aiming your phone at the barcode on the back of your movie case and then selecting which version of the movie you'd like to convert to. For DVDs, you'll be given two options. Uh, you can choose to convert to standard definition for $2 or upgrade to HDX for $5. Uh, for our copy of Batman Begins here, Either choice is a much better deal than buying the digital copy through the store normally. For Blu-ray discs, the only option I've seen so far is to convert to HDX. Since you already own the high definition Blu-ray disc, it's only $2 to convert to the HDX digital version. Up to this point, I have not yet seen an option to upgrade to 4K uh, using disc to digital, uh, but perhaps uh, they'll add it at some point in the future. Uh, another thought I had is it may depend simply on if that particular movie has a 4K version available or not, but that's just me speculating. I really don't know for sure one way or the other. Now, before you run off and start converting your DVDs and Blu-ray discs, you should know that as cool and convenient as this service is, it isn't without its problems. While making this video, I scanned 20 or so different movies, and in that rather small sample size, had more than a few movies that could not be converted. One told me the barcode wasn't recognized, and no matter how many times I tried scanning it in different lighting or at different angles, I got the same message. Our copy of Willow came back saying it was currently ineligible for disc to digital, and the notification I think was the most disappointing to me was this one. Uh, apparently, Disney does not currently participate in the disc-to-digital program. Uh, 
And my guess is they most likely never will. Uh, I actually really like that Voodoo is specifically naming Disney in this though. Uh, rather than just giving a generic, sorry, this barcode is currently not eligible for disc to digital notification uh, like I got with Willow, they straight up kind of call Disney out for choosing to only sell digital copies of movies at full price, even to customers who already own a physical copy of that particular film. Besides the problem of some discs not being eligible for disc to digital, there is another problem I ran into. When you buy movies from Vudu, including disc to digital, those purchases are tied to your Vudu account. If you normally prefer buying from Apple, Amazon, or Google, then you now have media on more than one service. Meaning, to watch the stuff you bought on iTunes, Google, or Amazon, you have to log into those apps. And when you want to watch stuff you bought on Vudu, you have to log into the Vudu app. Thankfully, there is a way to link your purchases on iTunes, Amazon, Google, and Vudu together using the Movies Anywhere app, uh, which is owned by Disney, by the way. This only helps with this problem to some degree, however. I say to some degree because all the stores have content that is exclusive to them. So even when you link all the stores together in Movies Anywhere, there will still be some movies and TV shows that will only be able to be viewed on the service you purchased it on. For example, we own all the Star Trek reboot movies starring Chris Pine as Captain Kirk on Vudu. But even though I've linked our Vudu account to Movies Anywhere, these Star Trek movies are not there. Uh, this is true of a bunch of other movies we own too. As you can see, we currently have 100 movies on our Voodoo account and only 82 of them in Movies Anywhere. This means for the 18 movies not on Movies Anywhere, we can only watch them on Voodoo. Sure, having to switch between different apps to watch content isn't some horrifying apocalyptic catastrophe or anything, uh, but having a single app where you can access all the digital media you own would certainly be the most ideal situation. So the TLDR is Voodoo's disc to digital service is really cool. Converting movies is quick and easy using the app and being able to add movies you already own on DVD or Blu-ray to your online streaming library for two to five dollars per movie is a smoking deal considering the alternative. The downside is not all movies are eligible for disc to digital and Disney not allowing any of their content to be converted this way is a really big negative in my opinion. Sure, this isn't Voodoo's fault. Uh, they can't control the fact Disney wants people to buy movies they already purchased at full price at full price for a second time. And then there's the issue of having more than one streaming service slash store app you need to have access to all your digital content. Thankfully, much of the content you buy on Voodoo can be shared through Movies Anywhere to iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. Uh, but due to what I assume are licensing agreements with the movie studios, there are some titles that will only be available on the service or store that you purchase them on. So what are your thoughts about all of this? Would you use Voodoo's Disc to Digital? Uh, the uh, comment section down below is now yours to express your opinion. I hope this video taught you something new or uh, answered some questions that you may have had. This being YouTube, uh, there are those things you can do to help me out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you know what they are. Uh, I also have an Amazon store linked in the video description where you can purchase different items I've featured in my videos at one time or another. Amazon does pay me a small commission for things you buy from my store, uh, which helps me continue to make content here on YouTube. You've now made it to the end of the video and are still watching, which means that you are officially part of my channel's 4% club. According to my channel's YouTube analytics, only 4% of people watch my videos all the way to the end. So if you feel so inclined, please declare your proud membership in the comments with the hashtag 4% club. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day and I hope to see you again in another video real soon.
Catch you later.